Hello, everybody. Glad you could uh, join with me here for just a few minutes. I just want to share a, a word of uh, encouragement, but also a word of challenge uh, here in the season that we continue to uh, uh, resolve to uh, stay strong, to uh, stay courageous, to stay healthy. But uh, the question I'm going to ask you today for you to contemplate is, what kind of messenger are you? What kind of messenger are you? You know, in this season of isolation, there are still many connections taking place. Uh, maybe you've been involved in a, a Zoom call or Zoom session. Uh, I'm sure you've still been texting people. You've still been uh, emailing people, on the phone with people. Uh, you know, there's, there's still many connections taking place, even though we may not be face-to-face. -face. And there's still many messages messages being shared. And so that's why I ask, what kind of messenger are you? Again, there can be, we've been doing live streaming, the media, all this stuff that's been taking place on Facebook. Uh, uh, you know, again, I remind you uh, this weekend, the Teen Challenge, uh, Friday night, 7.30, they're having that worship time cover, covering the curve. Uh, Compass Care, Saturday, on Facebook, uh, is also going to be having their uh, live telecast, uh, simulcast, uh, that's there at 9.30 on Saturday. Again, a way you can connect. But what messages are you passing on? What kind of messenger are you? I want to share with you this verse, Proverbs 13, 17. I'm going to share a handful of verses with you from Proverbs. But the first one, the, the, the main focus is Proverbs 13, 17. It says this, a wicked messenger falls into trouble, but a trustworthy envoy brings healing. The New Living Translation says it this way, an unreliable messenger stumbles into trouble, but a reliable messenger brings healing. So I ask you, what kind of messenger are you? I'll say it this way, uh, Psalms 13, 17 it says the wicked, unreliable messenger causes trouble. They cause, people can cause trouble with the messages that they share, with the type of messenger that they are. But a trustworthy, reliable messenger causes healing. So again, I ask you, what kind of messenger are you? We are seeing that proverb there from uh, chapter 13, verse 17, we're seeing that live practically every day right now. The, the wisdom and advice in God's word here is the power of the messenger, word power, the effect that words can have. One word can change an entire day for the better or for the worse. One kind word can echo for an eternity. And so we need to understand the power of of our message, the power that we wield as a messenger. Listen to these other verses. Proverbs 12, 18. The words of the reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. That verse brings to mind when you talk about a, 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 the words of the reckless piercing like swords. It kind of brings to me the picture of someone wielding a sword while blindfolded in a room full of people. It's almost like, a, you know, when you see the kids playing with a pinata and they're trying to hit that thing and, and if you're too close, you may get hit. But the words of a wicked, unreliable messenger can pierce like a sword. What kind of messenger are you? Proverbs 15.4 says this, the soothing tongue is a tree of life, but a perverse tongue crushes the spirit. Again, the difference between a trustworthy, reliable messenger and a wicked, unreliable messenger. This picture here it reminds me of a, an Old Testament stoning. When they would gather to stone somebody to death, they would be throwing stones, throwing stones. Of course, we don't do that anymore. God's grace for the, for the sinner. But yet our words, our words could be just like we're throwing a stone at them and we're throwing rocks at them until we crush them. 
What kind of messenger are you? But the emphasis needs to be on the power of being a messenger with words to bring healing. It said there, a soothing tongue is a tree of life. You see that picture of, of, of that, of like a, a soothing ointment. Think about whenever you've been sunburnt, all right, and you put on some soothing ointment to take that burn away. That's what a trustworthy, reliable messenger will do with their words. They'll soothe people. People that have been burned by the world, people that have been burned by others. We need to be a messenger that brings forth a tree of life. Listen to more. Proverbs 15, 23. A person finds joy in giving an apt reply. And how good is a timely word. There's no better time for a good word than right now. People need to hear a good word. They need to hear an encouraging word. There's no better time than right now. It is always the perfect time to be a messenger with a word of encouragement. Right now, don't wait. Don't wait till tomorrow. Right now, as you hear, as you hear this message, think of somebody. And when we're done here, I want you to call them. Or I want you to write a, a, a note on a card and send it to them. Don't say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Do it right now. Be a soothing tongue and start to grow a tree of life. You could also say you'll find joy with an on-time reply. Great joy for the person that you're giving to and you yourself. You'll experience great joy. Proverbs 12, 25 says, Anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. There's a lot of anxiety out there right now. There's a lot of anxious hearts that are being weighed down. Are you a messenger who just weighs others down further? Or will you be a messenger with the help of the Holy Spirit who cheers up someone? And then lastly, Isaiah 52, 7. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, our God reigns. The right word at the right time is absolutely beautiful. And that's what God wants to do for someone today through you. Bring the good news. Bring somebody the good news and proclaim that peace and that joy. Bring healing. Bring salvation with this message. Our God reigns. Hey, that sounds familiar. I think I heard that recently. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for being a God that brings good news. And Lord, thank you for enabling us to be messengers of your good news. God, I pray now, today, right now, put somebody on our mind. Put somebody in our heart who needs to hear an encouraging word. And Lord, when we say amen to this prayer, let us help us to go immediately and be that messenger to bring peace, to bring salvation to bring healing into somebody's life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, that we can overflow with hope by the power of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Go and be a messenger, a reliable messenger that brings healing.